Today I've got bling. I am blinging, blinging it out today. I really feel ostentatious. <laughs> it's not my style, but let it be right. Try something new. I heard a sister speak about the the example of of uh, Abram and Lot, Abraham and Lot, and and Lot got in trouble. Lot was always in bad places. Um, he, he was in the town. They wanted to rape the angel. All these things. Lot was Lot was like buck wild. Lot, Lot was having just too much fun. Later on, Lot did even worse things: drinking and carrying on, which which shows you how walking the right path can really save you. It's not to punish you, but it's to save you. Lot was the kind of person who was a grabbing, um, like a, a takey person likes to take advantage. And sometimes there are people in our lives who like the advantage, like to, 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 to use you, like to do things to you, which they ought not do. They, they're not concerned about being kind or even fair. In fact, they want it all now. And Lot was this type of person. This is his character. So Abraham said, the land is, is we're too heavy for the land. We have to split up. Which which do you want? Lot chooses the best looking land. And there are people like that who always choose the best looking land. They will leave you with the dregs. Leave you with the, the leftover. Leave you um, with anything. He didn't say, we could split it. You take half bad, I take half good. That was Lot's not intention. And that, that is his uncle who, who did great things for him. Lot took it, but it didn't profit him. Abraham took the not so good land, but it profited him amazingly. Even though it might look like somebody's taking advantage of you, that you have bad land, that they, they, they've gotten the lion's share and you have nothing, be like the woman with the might. Use it for the, for the glory of God, because as, as it turned out, Abraham excelled. So that the more of that story is is that don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about who did what to whom and, and ran. Because you're a child of God, because you're you're walking with God as best you can, not perfectly, as best you can, you get better over time. Sanctification is a process. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We get better if we're sincere. Like anything else that we're doing, we get better because we're working with flesh. We get better. And in any case, Abraham was blessed because he chose to walk right. Walk right. That's your, the best way you fight. You walk right. Because what people are doing will make you um, want to act like, you know, like you used to be, right? I know they do to me. Um, tell you a joke. One time I was uh, uh, driving my car, I had a collar on, and somebody cut me off. I cut them back off, and then I realized I had a collar on. They're looking at me like they're shocked. And I realized what, what I did. Um, and as a result, I always let people in, in, in front of me, um, collar or no, um, because it embarrassed me. And that's a sign that you're on the right track. If your conduct embarrasses you, if you deny Christ three times, but come back. And that's what the Lord asked of you. And, and that's why Abraham became so great, because he was the type of man who trusted God, even when it looks bad. If you're going through and it looks bad, don't you worry. You just keep on walking. One last nugget. In Genesis, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth became a void and a chaos, and waters covered the face of the earth. But God said, let there be light. And that's what's going to happen at your darkest moments when you think it can't be done. The Spirit of God is hovering above you. Just hold on a second, because there will be light. Amen? Amen.